So, hi guys, uh, today we will see how to fetch multiple records for a property. So, last time we saw like fetching a single record from the database, now we are fetching multiple records for a particular property. So, let's get started. So, for this, we have a concept called data pages introduced in 7.x version. So earlier we used to fetch a dynamic select which has a lot of flaws in it. So every time we need to create again manually, uh, no need, I mean not able to reuse it again. So that's why we came the concept with like a uh, database. So, so uh, like the process is like now I will create one section where I will add one drop down which will face the list of usernames okay so if you see here in user info there are multiple records there are two records uh, out of this username is now in run pega so i will fetch these two records for a particular property and i will make that uh, property as a drop down so in the drop down you can see so i will create one database and activity and i will load those database in that particular activity and uh, I will call that activity in a property so let's get started so first of all we need to take this write this data page on the activity at the data class level not work class level so just in the class data user info so this is the data class so just pin it it will appear here scroll down a bit this is your data class so create a database from data model category load multiple records database so database if you give a name then it will prefix by d underscore so that is uh, means a database name just copy this name and then we go to uses <coughs> okay first you need to select this to name search this source load activity so inside the activity we are Giving this so just keep this uh, for uh, some time because we haven't created the activity yet okay so go mostly and create one activity okay load full weekly Uh, go to before moving just go to security one you remember you says uh, last time we used it for uh, to use in utility now we are changing a little bit we are using in a database right so no need to give pages and everything no need to give parameters just directly jump into steps so fetching multiple records for a property you need to use object browse is a method or it is an object method which will fetch multiple records here the parameters we need to give is there's a page name that we have already saved we just paste it here and just mention what is the data class name so it is a okay, so that's it and which property you want to that you want, i want username property that's it you have saved just save it so activity is done now just copy this activity you need to save this page that up is right so here you need to do this or you need to open manually you need to write it manually 
तो आपने इधर उधर लोड माई एक्टिविटी ओके ओके द एक्टिविटी इज रेडी एंड द डाटा बेस इज रेडी इज इज सेड आई नीड टू क्रिएट अ सेक्शन सो इंस्टेड ऑफ क्रिएटिंग न्यू आई विल यूज इन हिस्ट्री वन लेट्स सी दैट दिस आई ऑलरेडी डन वन सेक्शन So Just click on layout and just add anything. This is two drop down. Okay, now. See list type here. We need to. Do this database. Last one is database. Then let's go. Let's go main. Load my QDP is our and which property need user name. Okay, need to how to change this. Default text label user names. Now what will happen? Whenever you run this section, it will call this database, and the entire the database we have a um, activity of time, which will, which has uh, you have mentioned property or there, so it will go directly to the database, and which all the records of that property and this left here. So just see it. Turn the page. Yes, yes, we have page in the end. So let's say now I will add one more. Yes, I'm ready. Again, run this. New it can. So by default, it coming as a ascending order. The reason is uh, we are performing this on a, a database record, which is a primary key. Primary key records always comes in a ascending order, sorting order. We'll see. In the next tutorial, like how we can sorting our records which are not a primary key in the database, and also see how can we generate a reports uh, like property optimization and all. We will see in the next tutorial. That's all. Thank you guys.